Welcome back to my daily port market analysis videos with me, which is Perry Market Analyst at Handtech on Thursday, the 14th of November. Looking at cable, where we've seen um, the market just dissipating the momentum um, that it got generated on Monday. Um, just last few sessions, rather drab little small bodied candlesticks there. Um, and these uh, momentum indicators just continue to sort of marginally drift. Um, back again. It, it sort of the fact that the market continues to seemingly attract back towards this 23.6% fib level through this week, which essentially is a basis of support. It has been in the last few sessions, but um, I think that that continues to suggest that we're going to get pressure on these support support bands. 2760, um, which was that old breakout level that, that actually got tested the other day and held um, up to 20. Uh, 2820, which is that 23.6% fib. I think that's your band of support now um, that you're going to see the market sort of continually edging back towards and testing. Now, closing breach of that 26, um, sorry, 2760 level then reopens sort of the move back towards 38.2% fib at uh, 127. But I think what essentially we are seeing is this consolidation uh, following on from that huge run high that we had in October. Um, and we're likely to see a marginal negative drift, not nothing too significant. You can see that through the hourly chart, really. There is a, a consolidation with a, a slight drift. Um, it seems as though that uh, little rallies are, are being are struggling now um, to find traction. Uh, 28.15, uh, which was, what's that, Tuesday's low, is the initial support, 28.15, 28.20. Uh, in the last couple of sessions, finding support there. But um, I th I'd be expecting to see further pressure on that level in due course, which, if I stick the crosshair on it, is effectively a bit of a pivot line. Uh, and so I close below that and you then edge towards the 2760 mark. But uh, hourly indicators, pretty neutrally configured, nothing too decisive, a very slight negative bias starting to develop, but yeah, nothing too significant. In keeping pretty much with what I see uh, as uh, sterling dollar developing in the coming days and weeks. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading. Keep, click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinars.